my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a pretty bittersweet review for me because it's possibly my second last one I'll be doing for Liv and Maddie. So let's just jump right into it before I get too emotional. So we start the episode off with Liv recovering from surgery and now she's afraid to sing again in fear that her voice won't be the same. And then we find out that some Broadway producers saw the live show and want to meet with Liv, which was great news, and Liv says that being on Broadway is her dream, but I just don't remember her ever mentioning it before. Like, unless I just have a bad memory, but if this was always something that Liv's like dreamed about, I would have thought that I would have heard about it earlier in the series. That just made it a bit harder to be excited for Liv, but Joey squealing around helped a lot. <laughs> uh, so Karen gets Liv a voice lesson with a famous vocal coach in hopes of helping Liv overcome her fear of singing but it ends up with Liv running out and so Maddie comes up with the idea of getting the dream back together to help Liv out. Meanwhile Parker and Val are competing in this science competition and guess who shows up? That's right, it's Artie and Evan who has not grown at all. Anyways, later on Artie gets Evan to sabotage Parker's team by putting itching powder on his neck to stop him from being able to compete but ends up feeling bad in the end and decides to help Parker and Val win. Oh, and Joey finds a cat that turns out to be Artie's that he named Liv, which I just love. That just makes me really happy how even though they're like living in LA now, Artie's back in Wisconsin still like obsessing over Liv. I love Artie so much. And speaking of Liv, the dream comeback was great. We have a reunion with Liv and Andy and Liv sings a beautiful acoustic version of The Key of Life, which they need to release as soon as possible. And Holden's finally back. I do I wish his reunion with Liv was a bit longer, like I've been waiting forever for these two to like be in love again, and it was like two seconds. But I'm so happy that they imply that they're endgame, that's fabulous. But that's basically Voice of Rooney. I'd say it's a solid episode, I wish we got more Holden, but Jordan Fisher's a busy guy now I guess. <laughs> um, but I've been thinking like a great spinoff would be just about like Holden and Liv in New York being in love. Like, can someone make that happen, please? That would be great. Also, I love that Artie was back, like I said earlier. He's one of my favorite characters. He's just never fails to make me laugh. Like, when he came in, when Maddie was talking about Liv, like, ugh, he's just the best. I'm upset that he's not going to be in the final episode, along with the rest of the dream, because, like, dump truck's there, so, like, why isn't Andy not there? I need to see them being in love. <laughs> I hope that they like imply that they're still together when we see dump truck again. Also, the whole thing that like they've been calling these past three episodes like um, a three-part finale, but there wasn't really a cliffhanger at the end of this episode, which I found interesting. But I'm really interested to see how they end it. Like I'm assuming that Liv is going to be going off on Broadway and I wonder what Maddie's situation ends up. I just, uh, I don't want it to end and now I'm getting sad again. So like I said earlier, I'll have to call that it for today so that I don't get too emotional like I said at the beginning. Let me know what you thought about this episode down below and it's just crazy to think that this is like my second last Liv and Maddie review. I was thinking maybe I'll do like in the future some of my old favorite episodes if you guys want that I don't know but that's all I have to say for today I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you very very soon